Number one, if they didn't value you as a friend, like as a, as a friend in a partnership, in a relationship, if they didn't value you as a friend when they were in the relationship with you, what makes you think that they'll value you as a friend with you not being in a relationship with them? Number two, right? Them saying they just want to be friends is a door opener for them to come inside of your life and love bomb you all over again. Number three, they want the benefits of still having access to you, right? And still getting supply from you without calling it a relationship. Number four, right? At the end of the day, they literally can say that they still have a door opening to gain power and control over your mind and emotions without you even realizing it. Number five, it allows them to have their cake and eat it too. Mean that they can still have somebody that they're talking to behind your back and still talk to you and still have access to you. Number six, it's them stopping you from you being able to move on mentally and emotionally to heal yourself to work on yourself to finally break free from their control of them wanting to manipulate you and gaslight you and control your mind and your emotions number five it allows them to have their cake and eat it too mean that they can still have somebody that they're talking to behind your back and still talk to you and still have access to you. Number six, it's them stopping you from you being able to move on mentally and emotionally, to heal yourself, to work on yourself, to finally break free from their control of them wanting to manipulate you and gaslight you and control your mind and your emotions. Number seven, there really is no benefit to that friendship except for them having access to you, them knowing that they can have access to you, whatever they feel like it and call you friends and still have their cake and eat it too. At the end of the day, it's just a door opener that if it doesn't work out with them and the new supply, if it doesn't work out with somebody else or whatever that they're hiding behind your back, that they have access to swoop right back into your life and use you like a doormat all over again to stop you from healing, to stop you from moving on, to just stay in consistent control over you. Because that's what the narcissist wants. Ultimate control over your mind and over your emotions for you to be there, to stroke their ego, for you, them to know that they have power and control over you. And how do I know this all? I used to be in an 18 year narcissistic abusive relationship. When my ex left me for a new supply, he wanted to continue being friends, even though he had a new supply and wanted to be friends with me behind the new supplies back. And that went on for a couple of years because I didn't know how to let go. That's why it's so important to go no contact focus inward on you, understand and stand in the facts to who these people are, that they have a personality disorder, they will not change. Even if they get the new supply, they'll love bomb the new supply and do the same thing to the new supply. At the end of the day, it's up to you to focus on you mentally and emotionally, to heal yourself, to release yourself from that power trip that the narcissist had over you to gain back power and control of your mind and your emotions if you need help to do so you can always book a one-on-one -on -one with me my link is at the top of my tiktok page y'all i will educate you to stand in the facts to help you to wise up and rise up above the narcissist today to gain back power over your mind and your emotions so that you can stand in your power and you can heal and you can move on to for the betterment of your life trust me you don't need friends like the narcissist inside of your life what you need is you to show up for you you need you to be your best friend you need you to sh to be the queen or king that you are worthy of being to stand in your power and be the best version of you today stand in the facts y'all to wise up and rise up above the narcissist today like i said if y'all need help make sure you're reaching out to book a one-on-one -on -one with me make sure you're following me on my youtube channel my podcast my tiktok page on all platforms to keep being inspired to stand in the facts to wise up and rise up above the narcissist today here are seven things that you need to remember when the narcissist wants to stay friends with you inside of your life after they found a new supply or you decided to break up with them. Either or, 
Here are seven reasons to remember why the narcissist wants to stay friends with you.